$100 MBA show. And today is a Q&A weekend's episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask, just email us at contact at 100mba.net or you can send me a tweet on Twitter. My handle is bizrepublic, B-I-Z republic. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. Guys, if you have not signed up for our free course on idea validation, I highly recommend you do. It's absolutely free, and it walks you through a step-by-step process to make sure you nail your business idea. Just head on over to 100mba.net slash free hyphen course to get our seven-part video course along with a workbook. Today's question comes from Casey. And Casey asks, affiliate offers, how much is too much for my subscribers? What Casey's referring to here is promoting someone else's product to his list in exchange for an affiliate commission. How often do I recommend that Casey does this or emails his list with affiliate offers? Now, this is a very good question because you do want to support your peers in the market because you may need that support later on. But you also don't want to abuse the people that love you, the people that have subscribed to your email list. We're going to talk about how much is too much and how to strike that balance. we got so much to get into, guys. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is brought to you by Braintree. Looking to set up payments for your business? Braintree gives your app or website a payment solution that accepts just about every payment method with one simple integration. Plus, they'll give you your first $50,000 in transactions completely fee-free. What an incredible deal to get you started. To learn more, visit BraintreePayments.com slash MBA. Again, that's BraintreePayments.com slash MBA. Before I get into today's episode, I need to apologize. My voice is not 100%. It's about 75%. And that's because I'm just coming off Webinar Ninja Live. As I'm recording this, we had it last weekend, which was on September 26th. And this was the first national webinar conference hosted by Nicole and I, and it was a whole lot of fun. It was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. But it did take a toll on my voice because I was emceeing, I was speaking, I was uh, speaking to a lot of the attendees, getting to know them. And obviously, you know, the whole day and leading up to the day took a toll on my body. But it was well worth it. Probably one of the funnest days I've had in a long time. Shameless plug, if you want tickets to Webinar Ninja Live 2016, get on our email waiting list by just popping your email at webinarninja.co slash live. We'll send you all the updates and even a discount for being on the waiting list. All right, let's get into Casey's question about affiliate offers. How much is too much to his subscribers? The first thing you need to consider is how often do you send an email out to your subscribers with valuable content? Whether that's a newsletter, a new video, a new podcast episode, a new blog post, How often do you do that? Let's say, for example, you send one email to your subscribers once a week. So in total, you send four emails a month. Maybe some months, it'll be five. So let's just keep that number in mind because we're going to talk about it later on. The second thing you need to look at is the actual affiliate offers you're sending to your subscribers. Is it aligned with what you offer and what you're all about? Remember, your subscribers subscribe to your brand, to your business, to your message. They're interested in what you offer. So if your affiliate offer is not really aligned with that, they're going to be like, hey, I didn't sign up for this. I don't want to know about this. So alignment is key. So keep that in mind. The third thing you need to consider is that not everybody is amazing. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're on our mailing list, if you're on our email list, the $100 MBA or the Webinar Ninja mailing list, you know that Nicole and I do not endorse a lot of people. And we do very, very little affiliate offers. I think I can count them on one hand maybe even half a hand. So Michael Port, a huge support of his because of the content and the value he offers is so aligned with our audience. And the other one is Jason Zook, how to create an online course in 30 days. It was a webinar we did together and we actually just combined both our products because it aligned so well with selling an online course, creating an online course. And it wasn't a typical affiliate agreement or affiliate situation. And Nicole and I do this for a reason, because if you're promoting, let's say, for example, 10, 15 different people a year, that doesn't make any sense. All these people are great. All these people are sending great products. All these people, you can give 100% endorsement. Maybe your endorsement doesn't mean much. So in order for our endorsement to be of value, we got to be very selective of who we endorse. So keep that in mind as well. So the specific question that Casey's asking is how much is too much for my subscribers? Personally, I don't recommend having 
other products, other affiliate offers being the bulk of your emails. In fact, I think it should be a 75%, 25% split. Meaning if I send four emails a month to my list with great content, with great goodies, my newsletters, my blogs, my podcasts, my videos, and even my own offers. So I believe that a good ratio is four to one. So if you send four emails a month, then one affiliate offer is a good balance. And you may not want to do this every single month. Maybe I would say having a maximum of six or seven a year. Because remember, when you're doing an affiliate offer, it's more than just one email. It's a few series of emails. You might um, ask them to take a look at some of their work. You might lead up to the actual launch. So they're going to get a few emails about this affiliate offer. But the point here is, is that you're striking a good balance, that they're getting a lot of great content. But hey, if you want to learn more about this area, I'm not an expert at this area, but this person is. Check out their program. Here's a link. And a four to one ratio, I feel, is a comfortable ratio for your list. Now, there's a lot of people that do a lot more than that. Some people do you know, a four to two or four to four. But that's what I recommend. Now, if you're going to have a busy week with emails, meaning that you're going to be sending an affiliate offer along with your newsletter, let your subscribers know in the newsletter. Guys, I'm going to be sending a couple more emails than usual this week because I want to let you know about XYZ. Please bear with me. I just want to make sure you get the value you need. Getting in front of being transparent is really helpful. The point here is that you got to treat the people on your list as people. These are not just names on a list. These are people that make your business exist. They're your supporters. They're your biggest fans. Make sure you treat them right. Guys, I got more on today's question and today's topic. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, Biz Filings. Where do you go to incorporate with step-by-step -step guidance from on-demand experts? Biz Filings. If you want the job done right, you got to go to the experts. And when it comes to incorporation, that means Biz Filings. With more than a million incorporations under their belt, the people at Biz Filings know all the ins and outs of setting up a business for success. They'll break down the process for you, outline the fees and forms, and work closely with the state so you'll know exactly what to expect every step of the way. You see, Biz Filings was founded by entrepreneurs who set out to build a kind of experience they'd want if they had to do it all over again. A straightforward site loaded with tools to help you understand your options and make the right call. With the resources at Biz Filings, there's no need to put off incorporation any longer. Get started today with a free guide at bizfilings.com slash start. That's bizfilings.com slash start. I want to highlight an important point when it comes to this topic when supporting others in your market and this whole affiliate business. You don't need to have an affiliate agreement in order to support somebody else you want to support, a colleague in your business, somebody that's out there doing things that you really uh, like, you really respect, you really enjoy, and you want to share that with your audience. You can run a webinar together which is normally known as JV webinars, but now in the Webinar Ninja world, we call it Care Bear webinars. It's something that just came up in Webinar Ninja Live that everybody just caught on and just started calling it Care Bear webinars. But the point here is, is that you can do a webinar together and not have an offer. You could just expose your audience to that person's work. You guys can do a webinar together. You can have a good time. You can teach together. And at the end of the webinar, you can say, okay, guys, that's great. If you want to learn more, go to this person's website and there's no sales exercise. That's an immense amount of help that you're giving that person, the other creator, the other entrepreneur. And at the same time, you don't bog down your subscribers with more sales offers. Because listen, I've been doing this for a while. I know how important it is to support your fellow entrepreneurs. So make sure you consider that as an option. Doing an affiliate webinar, doing an affiliate program, doing a Q&A without the affiliate commission, without the sales pitch. You might find your subscribers and your audience will respect you more for it. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, guys, tomorrow is another Q&A Weekends episode where we answer a question right here on the show from a listener. And tomorrow's question is, I'm about to do business in Dubai. You have experience there. How should I prepare? That is true. I did do business in Dubai, and I want to give uh, this listener some insights and give everybody who's listening some insights. If you're working abroad, if you're doing business abroad in a different culture, in a different country, what to look out for and how to prepare and how to make sure you win them over. Look out for that tomorrow, guys. But before then, I want to leave you with this. One of our speakers at Webinar Ninja Live, Mario Brown, has a very popular quote that he says, or a very popular statement, or really it's a mantra. And he says, take massive imperfect action. It was a huge takeaway for our attendees at Webinar Ninja Live. And this is related to today's episode because, you know, my voice is not 100%. And it's imperfect right now. I, I don't sound as good as I should. 
But I don't want my audience, you who's listening, to be let down. I need to make sure that I produce these episodes even when they're not perfect sometimes. I need to get the content out there. I got to make sure that you have something every single day to help you in your business. And if I let my ego, if I let my, you know, perfectionist side take over, these things won't happen. So sometimes the consistency of work is more important than the quality of work. Obviously, you have to have a level of quality that's acceptable, but sometimes it's just not going to be perfect and you got to be okay with that. And I hope you guys are okay with it too with my voice being like this today. All right guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was beneficial. Let us know in an iTunes rating and review if you loved today's episode. If you loved any of our episodes, it really helps us rank well on iTunes. Right now, we're at 497 stars in the iTunes store, in the U.S. iTunes store, and we want to hit 500, guys. Help us out. Give us a rating and review. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>